Hello everyone and welcome to a video where I will briefly try to explain what happened yesterday and uh, well how 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 the podcast was even taken down. Now uh, uh, the podcast was set to air as a live premiere which is the same as basically uploading a video only it allows uh, me and the viewers to watch the video simultaneously while chatting and then after uh, it premieres after the entire uh, video is over then it just turns into a regular video and uh, everything was going perfectly normal i think it was at around the uh, one hour and 20 minute mark that the video was taken down uh, I started receiving messages uh, that, that no one can see the video, that uh, the video has been taken down uh, and uh, people have uh, started sending me uh, screenshots of why it was taken down due to, uh, well, uh, not uh, abiding to YouTube's uh, guideline policy. And I was like, what? And, <laughs> uh, well, I uh, uh, went, went to my uh, YouTube dashboard and uh, it seems that I received a, a, a guideline strike. So here, as you can see, uh, this is uh, what uh, what you see if you if you click on the link for for the podcast. This live stream recording is not available. We've removed this video because it violates our community guidelines. You'll be able to view this video for seven days from when it was removed. Uh, this period allows you to review the content and decide where you wish to submit an appeal. And I clicked submit an appeal instantly without even needing to review what was in the video because I mean I made the video. I know what's in it and I know it doesn't. Uh, violate any community guidelines and uh, the I, I clicked appeal this decision and uh, like uh, 30 seconds later maybe a minute later uh, the uh, appeal was rejected so as you can see here uh, it says uh, appeal rejected yesterday so it was like I clicked appeal and then it was re immediately rejected so what's happened what happened here uh, my video was not taken down because a human employee of YouTube uh, said, okay, this is some harmful and dangerous content. Let's just, uh, I mean, let's take it down. It was done by, a, by an algorithm that uh, maybe heard some, some keywords that are not appropriate uh, for the current situation in the world and decided to take down the video. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, appeal rejected, uh, policy harmful or da dangerous content. Now here uh, above, you can see warning, your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines because it's the first time your account isn't affected. You're only warned once and this warning will remain on your channel. So the, the penalty for uh, uh, a community guideline strike isn't like something all that serious. The, the penalty is that I would not be able to upload post or live stream for a week. And since this is a fairly busy channel, one week for me is a lot. And the thing is, I've uploaded more, almost 1800 videos over the course of three years uh, that I'm being very active on YouTube. And in those uh, almost 1800 videos, uh, there wasn't a single uh, community guideline violation or anything. And it just seems super weird that YouTube would, uh, I mean, I already uploaded like 1800 videos. Don't you have like a, a green list or white list? Like this is a, this is a fine channel. Let's not, uh, you know, just uh, allow bots to do their thing. And uh, I still have no idea why it was taken down and still nothing has changed. Uh, I mean, I, I slept on it and uh, I realized they have other stuff to do. Of course, they can just, uh, uh, you know, uh, bring all of their attention to, to one channel, especially one. It's not even like, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like a huge channel. I have almost 700,000 subscribers, but I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not like a small channel. So it does seem weird and still uh, people have had some ideas like why, how it, this could have happened. Like maybe the, the YouTube algorithm uh, heard some, I don't know, uh, there, there's talk of, of like racism. Like if, uh, okay, maybe if YouTube algorithm was was really an idiot, then maybe maybe could have heard something like, okay, in this line of the Berlin, maybe if black goes D6 instead of C6, uh, white will always be better. And then maybe with the current situation in the world, if he hears something like that, white will always be better, it might flag this video as uh, inappropriate, harmful or dangerous and take it down. But if that's the case, uh, then I, I'm pretty sure all of my 1800 videos will be taken down as it's pretty much black against white uh, to the death every every video. And uh, I, I don't think it's supposed to work like that. Another thing is uh, uh, there is this policy now that YouTube doesn't allow uh, YouTubers to address the current situation in the world. I'm not even gonna mention the situation because this video might also be taken down. Uh, however, uh, it's the situation that uh, forces people to stay indoors, that forces people to, uh, uh, they're not allowed to go outside. And the only, the only time when we mentioned this during the podcast was, uh, 
uh, well, was uh, why chess is experiencing its uh, new renaissance. Why why are so many people into chess now? Because they are uh, in their homes more than they were like maybe a few months back and they have more time on their hands and chess seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to start. Um, maybe you haven't uh, played chess for, for, a, for a couple of years or maybe even for 20, 30 years. And now you're in your home, uh, you have a computer, pretty much everyone does, and it's very easy to start a chess game. You don't have, have to have like a super strong machine uh, to play new video games that are coming out. Uh, you can pretty much play chess on anything, on any smartphone, any PC, any, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, we haven't uh, addressed this issue in any, in any aspect other than that. I mean, I, I realize if, uh, for example, uh, some channels would say that, okay, uh, you should do this and then that will cure that situation or something like that, some weird, uh, giving people weird advice. Okay, I realize that that kind of content needs to be taken down uh, because it can be harmful and dangerous. But this is, this is a chess podcast and uh, it's... Uh, such a shame because a lot of work went into it. It's not, uh, I mean, you have to organize everything. You have to prepare everything. You have to, I mean, record, you have to edit. And uh, it's just, um, it's just a shame. And the, the, I don't know, the third possibility would be like during this live premiere that uh, a lot of people have flagged it as a violent or inappropriate. And then YouTube's algorithm immediately took it down, but which also makes no sense to me. I mean, that way, that way you could pretty much take any video down, no questions asked. And uh, it's, it really is weird. Like, okay, if I was like a new channel with maybe 10 videos, no one no one knows, the algorithm didn't learn that this is a normal channel that doesn't do anything. I mean, I, I don't even swear in my videos. I don't, there, there's no profanity. There's no, uh, there is no inappropriate content of any kind. And if if, if such a podcast can be taken down, it's, um, uh, well, it's hard to even find um, motivation to, to continue doing something like that. Uh, now, I, I do expect this to be resolved and I do expect the, the video to be brought back uh, maybe tomorrow on Monday when someone, you know, goes to work and uh, manually reviews it because, you know, you do have to now uh, like sit down and watch the entire thing. It's like over an hour and a half, uh, but uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I see no, no way around that. Uh, and yeah, uh, why I'm addressing it as uh, I did address it briefly on Twitter, but most most of you guys don't have Twitter, so that's why I'm uh, also doing it here. And uh, the podcast is available on other platforms, like it's available on, on Spotify, on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, on, on Buzzsprout. So uh, I will put some link in the description below if you guys are uh, interested in, in listening to it, if you maybe haven't uh, uh, watched it until the end. But even though that's fine, YouTube is my main platform, and I I I I'm I really am a big fan of video, so I, I do really do hope it gets reinstated. But if not, uh, probably will uh, upload it to some other platform, so you guys can can check that out as well. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. What I what I wanted to mention. Um, and yeah, hope well, let, let, let's hope it uh, just uh, comes back and that uh, you know things like this don't don't happen in the future as it's really it, it's really frustrating. Like you've done nothing wrong, and even though th that community guideline strike isn't really doing all that much, it's it's merely a warning for the moment. Uh, it really it, it's really frustrating when you when you upload 1,800 videos and then you get like a community guideline strike for for harmful and dangerous content out of nowhere. And there is content on YouTube. I mean, there is a lot of content on YouTube that uh, would deserve this uh, guideline strike uh, <laughs> before uh, a casual conversation with, with Hikaru Nakamura. So yeah, uh, that's uh, that's the video. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it and that I've uh, somewhat somewhat explained what happened. And uh, yeah, we're continuing with the Chessable Masters. Uh, see you soon, guys.